I'm going to discuss the hexagonal theory of international trade in this video. Before we understand the hexagonal theory of international trade, we first need to understand the uh, idea of competitive cost advantage. The competitive cost advantage theory is developed by David Ricardo, and it says that one nation has an absolute advantage in production of both the commodities, but that nation has a competitive advantage in production of one commodity at home. So nation exports the commodity in which it has a comparative advantage. But why there is a comparative cost difference? What is the reason behind that is not explained by David Ricardo. So uh, Hexer and Olin both supports the theory of comparative cost and they explain the reason behind the uh, comparative cost differences. So there is a difference in supply of factor of production. Now this difference in supply of factor of production leads to difference in factor endowment. Now this difference in factor endowment leads to difference in price of goods and this difference in price of goods will result in international trade between two nations. So this comparative cost differences arises because of difference in factor endowment and that is why the Axelrolian theory of international trade is also known as factor endowment theory of uh, international trade. Now I am going to discuss the definition of uh, Hexer-Rolin theory of international trade. So this theory says that a nation exports goods which use relatively a greater proportion of its uh, abandoned and thus cheap factor of production and imports goods which use uh, relatively a greater proportion of its uh, scarce and thus expensive factor of production. In other words, a capital intensive, a capital abandoned nation exports capital intensive commodity and imports labor intensive commodity. Similarly, a labor abandoned nation exports labor intensive commodity and imports uh, capital intensive commodity. So suppose we have two nations, nation X and nation Y. And we have two goods, goods A and goods B. Nation X exports goods which use its relatively abandoned and cheap factor of production. So if nation X is capital abandoned nation, and commodity A is capital intensive commodity, nation X will export commodity A to nation Y and imports commodity B from nation Y. Similarly, nation Y is labor abandoned nation and if commodity B is labor intensive commodity, nation Y imports commodity B to nation X, nation Y exports commodity B to nation X and imports commodity A from nation X. Now we are going to uh, discuss the assumptions of this uh, theory. There are certain assumptions which are very important for this theory. So assumptions First, this theory assumes that there are two nations, two commodities and two factors of production. So that is why this theory is known as two cross two cross two model. Two nations, two commodities and two factors of production. This theory also assumes that there is a perfect compi 
tissue so there are many buyers and many sellers of this two goods and the uh, goods are homogeneous third assumption is full employment so there is no problem of unemployment in both the trading partners fourth is free trade so there is no tariff no quota nothing the trade between two nations is completely free sixth mobility of factors of production now two factors of production are completely mobile within the nation but they cannot move from one nation to another for example one labor can move from ahmedabad to mumbai or ahmedabad to uh, punjab but that labor cannot move from ahmedabad to london so there is complete mobility within the nation but factors of production are completely immobile between two nations seventh assumption is of production function the production function of two goods are completely different so suppose we have two goods good a and good b and two nations x and y the production function of a in both the nations is same similarly the production function of b in both the nations is same but production function of a and b are different again the production function of commodity a is same in both the nations similarly the production function of b is same in both the nations but production functions of a and b are completely different it assumption consumer preferences are same and constant so consumer preferences are same in both the nations so now we know that consumer preferences can be depicted with the help of community indifference curve so when uh, we draw a diagram there is a single community indifference curve for both the nations because we assume that the consumer preferences are same and uh, constant and last assumption the factors of production are homogeneous so the productivity of all factors of all units of factors of production is same so the hexerolin theory is based on this nine assumptions and theory says that capital abandoned nation exports capital intensive commodity and imports labor intensive commodity similarly labor abandoned nation exports labor intensive commodity and imports capital intensive commodity the theory is explained in part 2